Hey, Cortana. Where's the Master Chief? Probably off saving the galaxy somewhere. He's good like that. Ah. Huh. What's up, guys? How are you all doing? Hey, we're going to be looking at how to put together your very own Microsoft Cortana assistant on the Raspberry Pi. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so what you will need to get started is you will need a brand new, preferably, or at least completely blank uh, micro SD card, um, preferably the 40 megabits per second or higher. In fact, I'm thinking of using a higher rate one just to see if I don't get a little bit of a performance increase. But basically, you need a new micro SD card, blank it, um, and then you open up this software. I'll put a link down in the description for the IoT dashboard setup software. Once you get it in, you select your Raspberry Pi 3, since that's what we'll be building it on. You select the OS build, make sure you get your drive, give your device a name, and then give it a password. Once you get done giving it a password, you go over here, you click I accept software license agreement, and then you will click download and install. Now, if you're working on a computer that has Wi-Fi already configured, you can actually select the profile up here in the Wi-Fi network configuration and get it to load that all in there so that way you don't have to set up any Wi-Fi. Now, mine is wired, so we'll just hit download and install. You'll, it gives you the warning that you're going to uh, have to, you know, it's going to wipe out any data on your SD card. That's fine. We will continue. You will get a prompt from Windows that will tell you that it is it asks if it's safe to start it. You will say yes, and then it will install the software. If, if it has to download the build, it'll download it. You'll see that progress here. There it is. I just had my... OS asked me, and then you will get a basically a terminal window that will show the status of it. Now I'm going to pause the video and we will come back when it is finished. Okay, and just like that, we have installed it. So what you'll do now from this point on is you'll open up this config file in here. If you have any special uh, requirements so far as uh, 1080p or 720p or whatever, and I'll put a link down in the description so that you can see what uh, the different settings are and go check that out. Once you've configured that, save it and put it onto your Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now that you uh, have installed that, after you set up your language and choose your uh, Wi-Fi connections, you'll be presented with uh, the Cortana screen. And this is if you have the recent uh, build, which is the one that I showed in the previous, uh, in the previous section. So uh, what it does, you have to make sure and accept all of these uh, basically prompts, otherwise it will not work properly. So we're gonna say sure. And you can sign into your Microsoft account, and so that way it will uh, get to the cloud and get all the different things that you need. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, now that you've signed in and got everything worked out, you will be brought to this screen. Now, what you will want to look at is you want to look at and figure out what your default IPv4 IP address is. Once you see your IP address, you can enter it into a web browser followed by colon 8080 because it's on port 8080, okay? So it will look like this, and this gives you your dashboard. As you can see, there's the 8080, and there's the IP address that was given. And then basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that your microphone uh, is up, make sure the speaker level is up. And then one more thing, you want to go to apps, apps manager, and then you want to go down to Cortana and you want to toggle so that she starts up with the Raspberry Pi uh, when it turns on. This will cause a reboot of the system. So it should come back and it will have her uh, waiting for you. Hey, Cortana. What's the weather like today? All right, and this is the way to get her set up where now every time that you reboot your Raspberry Pi, she will, or will start up with it and be able to respond to you. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, give a like for this, and check out at the end of this video, I'll have a link to the in-depth 
version of this, how to actually build the whole thing out, what pitfalls, what problems, what issues you might run into, and different things. So if you have any questions, have any trouble getting this installed, check out the in-depth video. And guys, like, subscribe, share. That helps the channel a lot, as well as follow me on Twitter, Instructables, and all the social medias. And I will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.